Oh my lord, if you've never had the pleasure of having your septic tank pumped, I suggest you schedule an appointment ASAP because those delectable smells are not going to wait forever. still barely lift my right arm and I could barely manipulate those at all when I was perfectly healthy before I even started having the, all the right arm issues. Now I'm having countless endless right arm issues so I don't know. I don't know how this is even going to be possible. So these are definitely the generic ones but they're the ones I'm going to try I guess. But these are like the original that, that came in it as far as I can tell. Uh, like these are snapped into the door, and then these are snapped into the door panel. Like so. <clears throat> well, these are like $15 for two of them. So I guess I'll order four. So looks like all the areas are supposed to clip back into are good. Okay. Put a couple screws in there. I'll be golden. Just thinking as I was doing that, that's oh god, probably not the best idea. And sure enough, broke through a wood drop, right arm popped straight up from the pressure, and now I think I'm done for the day. Uh, I really should have gone and got this x rayed. I might be okay after I rest a while. Yeah, maybe I'll text my youngest and see if he'll come over here with this chainsaw and cut these up and stack them for me. Either way, I'm going to use my chainsaw. But I'm about to just mark them, mark out the measurements, and then I'm going to quit. If only I hadn't dickered my arm on the freaking how you doing zone. Because I really wanted to hook up my amp today. Again, I mean, I just gotta run. All I literally have to do is just run this power cord. God dang, man. Okay, yeah, that's worth $119. Oh no. Oh no, what are those? What are these? Oh, it's the. Oh, that's the actual fuses. Oh. They send three. Oh, sweet, they do. There's a 300. Oh, that's not bad. Frickin' talking about. Sweet. Yeah, that 300 is the one that needs to be in there. Okay, yeah. I don't even read that. And damn, look at that speaker wire. I mean, I already got speaker wire, but that's pretty... Shit, I might change mine out to look at mine and see if mine's that heavy duty or not. But, yeah, that, uh... That is the business. If I can only show you how much this weighs. Well, I can. I have a scale. The scale's not sensitive enough. 
213 pounds. Man, I'm getting fat. Twenty one point two and thirteen point two. So eight pounds exactly. Yeah, that's eight pounds worth of frickin' uh silver tinned one hundred percent oxygen free copper zero gauge. How you frickin' doing? You know, I'm sawzone earlier and when the Thing. And right as I'm thinking, right as I'm thinking, you know, I'm oh, careful, dude. Like I should be cutting up because when this thing, when you cut through and the wood drops, your arm's going to give way. It's going to lift up, and that's the way it hurts when you lift it in that direction. So be very careful. And, and then as I'm thinking this, like boom, it happens. Ouch! Extreme pain. Arm shoots up. Want to die? Quit. <sighs> Sit here for like an hour. Takes my ibuprofen, slather a bunch of lidocaine on it, aspirin cream, and uh calms down enough that I'm able to go clean everything up that activity is making me hurt even worse and I'm like oh you need some crackers need some crackers I gotta pull the club crackers out and be gut dang if this jar of cherries doesn't jump out and I'm being a good boy and pulling the crackers out with my left hand well reflex my arm jumps up to catch the cherries I never I couldn't even get close to them because shooting excruciating ouchy pain made me quit the kind and uh Oh my god. And so now I got in a slingy sling, but to try to hopefully remind me to keep it immobilized. But I may go ahead and go to the hospital tonight and have an x ray because <laughs> I, uh, uh, I don't know. It might be brokey broke. Giant pecan orchards. Peach. Very cool. Also very cool. Bunch of Bradford pears. They went wild. Yeah. Yeah. They're invasive species. Yeah, they are invasive. So, but they smoke some good meat. Very cool. More pecans. Youngins. Young bottles. Remember how, like, two or three years ago we came this way? Yep. They the were just. There we go. Yep. They grow pretty quick. Pretty decent. When do we go to that canyon? That's when we saw them, right? Uh, I think so. What are these? Oh, like all kinds of different. Oh, uh, those are. Uh, well, the whole varieties. Yeah, different varieties of trees they just sell. Yeah, yeah. Whole bunch of stuff going through the rows. All kinds of different. There's some red buds. Red buds. Very cool. Neat stuff. Look at all the yellow time. Yellow time fun fun. Yellow time flower fun. How you doing? Oh my goodness, it's flower fun. So many, so many of the yellow flower flowers. Is that kind? Oh, oh, sorry, it's hard to drive and film. I apologize. These pecan trees gotta be hella old, they're huge.
think this will be my new EV. Oh my goodness, how much you figure that runs? That's got to be every bit of $130,000. I know, what the hell are they doing staying on a trip with a, with a car like this? I don't think I got any of it. I was just zooming. I didn't get them right in the D or anything. Yeah, he's already gone. Dang it, I missed it. Love God, you plus God. I was totally thought I was filming this and I just had it zoomed in on the photo thing and I wasn't even doing anything. He's still going. He's doing the equals. Let's sit out here for a minute, see if we can get something. <sighs> Here he goes. Well, it's going to be equals love, probably. Or maybe heaven, or... It's getting real hot sitting in the sun, though. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to stay out here and film it. Oh, it's a smiley face. Smiley face. Equals happiness. It's, it's a smiley face. Yeah. Yeah. Love God. You plus God equals smiley face. I guess. Crazy. There he goes, big smiley face all the way around. <laughs> Pretty cool. extreme weather events all throughout Mississippi and lots of Alabama and they're all coming to Georgia and it, I mean it turns out nothing here was too bad um, I mean I hadn't done a lot of research but everything at the house is fine uh, American flag got torn up nothing else even blew over so uh, my anxiety can't take it I'm, having, I'm just having serious panic attacks anytime there's storm events and uh, on that note, I'm going to quit drinking for a month because I don't know if it's the alcohol that's, uh, I don't know what it is. If I don't, if, if, uh, I mean, alcohol is a depressant, right? And apparently depression can turn to anxiety. And I used to have depression in my early 20s and in my early teens. And, uh, haven't had depression for years, but I don't know. So I'm going to quit drinking for a month. And, uh, and it takes about three days for alcohol to get out of your system. So if I'm still having any panic attacks after a couple weeks, and I think I'm going to go try to get on some Prozac or something. And, uh, 
But in the meantime, we ran away, right? Because I can't freaking take it. And so we get back this morning at like 7 at 6 a.m. And, uh, you know, house is filthy because we just ran away. And so I'm like, I got a bunch of cleanup to do and everything. And we slept all day. And I woke up and uh, had, uh, had my coffee and my, and my morning poo. And, you know, evening poo. And uh, everything's backed up. Fucking flush the toilet and it's backing up into the toilet or in the shower and the bathtub. I'm like, great. And it's a Friday. So plumbing rates are extra on weekends generally. I'm like, God damn it. We can't win for losing. So I uh, called the plumbing company and they're like, well, it's probably a septic tank and we can get somebody out there tomorrow between four and six. And it's a set rate for a thousand gallons, 400 bucks. I'm like, okay, that's not too bad. It's never been pumped in 25 years. So maybe that's what it is. But the ground ain't wet out there. Um, so I don't think, I mean, it's probably full, but that, and it probably does need to be pumped, and we're going to have it done anyway, but I don't think that's what it is. And so I'll probably get some Drano and see if I can pour it in the break of any stoppage that may be there, but I don't know why there would be a stoppage there, because it flushed fine three days ago, four days ago when we left, and now all of a sudden an issue. So, but I just, I can't take it. I put a hole in my fucking bathroom wall, because I'm just like, at, at, you know, my wit's end for stress levels, and I'm so sick and tired of just one thing after another. I just, I'm just like, can I get some fucking peace and quiet? This goddamn money pit that we fucking live in, right? Um, just an endless fucking... The, the Buick on the way there. Oil light, halfway to Florida. Oil light comes on, and it starts flashing. It's like, shut engine down immediately. I'm like, Jesus Christ, we're in the middle of a Chick-fil-A drive-thru. I can't shut engine down immediately. As soon as we get a drive-thru, I, I shut it down. We eat our lunch. I check the bone dry, not a, not, a, not a drop on the dipstick. So we're nowhere near an auto zone. And uh, there's a convenience store across the street, though, so I run over there. And wouldn't you know it, it's $10 per quart. So uh, $20 later and two quarts, it's still not registering on the dipstick, but I risk it. And I go down to auto zone about four miles away. I get a five quart thing of how you doing, fill it in, takes the whole thing, and uh, almost the whole thing, and uh, registered on the dipstick holding but leaking so I buy four more of the well I buy one more of those there at AutoZone because they're expensive and we take it on down to Florida and I just check it and put it in like every hundred miles and then at Walmart in Florida I went and bought four uh, four or five quart containers and like 80 bucks is you know cheaper at Walmart right for the Castro GTX and uh, yeah, just every 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 sixty mile, every sixty to hundred miles on the way back, I just stop and add oil, and it's hilarious. The entire trunk, license plate, everything is just slicked in oil because it's either bad hose, or it's like you know, intake gaskets or something, or you know, head gaskets, uh, intake valve gaskets or head gaskets or something, and. Uh, but I ain't gonna, I didn't want to spend money in Florida, and I don't want to spend money on it anyway right now, because it's probably gonna be, I mean, even if, oh my god, oh my god, so it's just so, just one thing after another, and then we get home with the plumber, and the whole reason we left is a storm, and we still, we've been trying to get windows and doors and siding estimates, because, you know, we need, we definitely need windows, we don't necessarily need siding, but we, we would like it, because it looks better, and that's like 20000 and then we're going to try to get a storm basement built, and that's like, that's probably gonna be, we don't know yet, we're trying to get a contractor out here, but between 10 and 20 probably, so we're going to try to get a loan and do all this shit, but, uh, I don't know, up there, then I'm not, I'm like, you know what, no, let's just, let's not do anything. Let's just do the storm shelter and forget about everything else. If windows break, I'll knock them out and I'll replace them with plexiglass in the meantime. But let's not do anything more to this house, and let's just get it paid the fuck off and get a storm shelter built. Because, I mean, even in Orlando... We, that's why I went to Orlando. That's why I went that far down in Florida because I, I made sure I looked at the connective outlook and I made sure I was far away from anything that could even be projected. So there was going to be no issues where I was at and nonstop I was still having serious anxiety attacks. Like as soon as it gets dark at night, I'm full on fucking panic attacking. Um, <laughs> it's so fucking bizarre. My wife's freaking out because I've always been the rock. I've always been the badass motherfucker that's not scared of anything and she's like, I don't know what to do and I don't know what's wrong with you. I and mean, she loves me and she tries to you know, comfort me, but there's little one can do when somebody's having an anxiety attack like that. You know, you just kind of got to get through it and, you know, work it out, talk yourself down, whatever. But, oh my God. So, yeah. So we're back and uh, not drinking and nonstop issues and I'm obviously not getting a motorcycle anytime fucking soon because 
yeah, I mean, I wasn't planning on going to Florida, I wasn't planning on septic tanks, I wasn't planning on any of this stuff. So the $4,000 in the bank is gonna is quickly disappearing um, <laughs> that I had saved up for my bike. And uh, you only needed like another $1,500. And uh, so yeah, that's all quickly going. So I don't know when I'll have a motorcycle. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm at, um, I'm, I just can't. You ever just want to crawl in a fucking hole and stay there? Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. See, the issue is, if it's like one thing, if it's like if I wake up to an issue, I'm fucking frustrated, and I, it, all problems and issues exasperate me. Like, all problems and issues, like, cause me stress, right? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what the problem is, what the issue is, it's going to cause me a stress. Uh, the level of stress is, is determinant upon, you know, how big the issue or the problem is. M multiple problems presenting themselves at once, and I just start to freak the fuck out. Like, I just cannot even sometimes deal with stuff. And so, uh, I just got back with some Drano. I poured it in the drain. Hopefully, we're going to we're gonna do. I accidentally, I mean, I didn't accidentally. I purposely punched a hole in my wall when I first discovered all this shit. So, it's great. I mean, this whole bathroom has to be redone anyway. but Or at least the walls. But, yeah, so it's awesome. Um, Tipper got the best of me. It's been a while since I've done that. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, no goo. But I got some Drano in there, so maybe it'll do something. I took all my weapons on my trip because I wasn't going to leave them here at the house to get destroyed by a possible tornado and uh, I, mean, I can't take everything but the stuff I can take I'm going to right and I oh that's my six o'clock alarm um, so yeah I uh, the one thing I didn't bring though I'm sitting there in our hotel room you know the day before the real bad weather supposed to come to this area I'm like crap you know what babe we left all our lottery tickets about two months ago I bought a bunch of lottery tickets well I bought four lottery tickets with the same numbers but for repeated plays so I spent a couple hundred dollars and uh, I literally have not checked the numbers besides like the first two or three drawings so there's been drawings going on in all these different uh, you know uh, lottos for like two months now there some of them are good through April some of them are expired in March I think some of them are already done my point is I haven't checked any of them they could all be money <laughs> I'm like, it's gonna suck so I need to go check those soon and see if I got anything, but I would be like, yeah, that sucks. What if we had a million dollars, we're about to just blow away in a tornado. That would, that would really bite. But yeah, I am about to go test, uh, I'm about to go test the weapon and see if my sights are still on her traveling in a trunk and bouncing around for 700 miles. See how she shoots. Or anything. I'm just, I'm just going to go test it. I just I thought I'd let you know. Because that's your update, update. Really? I hate when my remote didn't work. Um, yeah. It's still on site. I didn't check the laser sight yet because it's still too bright. But the red dot, dead on. For well, I think that thing was thirty dollars, man. Pretty impressed. septic tank pumped, I suggest you schedule an appointment ASAP because those delectable smells are not going to wait forever. Oh my gracious. So uh, just about as soon as I got it cracked open, I knew they had it cracked open. <laughs> and uh, they called, I was like, I guess you got it open? He's like, yeah, come see. And I came, saw, and she was full to the brim. I mean, she was just stuffed as stuff can be. And uh, before they started even getting into it, he said, uh, he said, so, uh, when's the last time it was empty? I said, never. It's been 25 years. It's been there 27 years. And they both said at the same time, they were like, it's full. I'm like, yeah, I figured. So, uh, they pumped it, 400 bucks. And they get to the end, they're like, your pipe's clogged. 
so we'll have to hydro jet that. And I'm like, all right, what's that run? And I'm thinking it's going to be like an extra hundred bucks, something, buck seventy-five, maybe, three fifty, three fifty, fifty bucks less than the whole pump. And I'm like, oh, that's how you get them, huh? I was like, get them out here with the four hundred dollar pump and cheapy cheapy, and then an extra three fifty for the. But to be fair, it's twenty-seven years, so I mean, you know, if you get your shit. I could have literally had a pump 14 years ago for $50 more and probably save myself the trouble now. But let me just tell you, that hydro, the house didn't smell that bad until they hydrogetted it. And then the inside of the house smelled like when they cracked open the thing out there. So needless to say, I got candles burning and windows open and fans blowing. And I'm doing my damnedest to uh, eliminate the smell. But, yeah, I'm debating whether I should hang about and hopefully it goes away so I'll be able to eat here or whether I should just go get something to eat. And eat in the car on the way home because I'm not going to be able to eat in Sewage City. But. Alright, that's your update update.